Scott from Wessex Blades and Bushcraft. Uh, quick one today, I'm going to make another one of these. This is my egg box in order to transport eggs, but I'm going to hot wax it so that the cardboard is impregnated with the wax so it's a lot tougher. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go through this really quick. I've already got the pan of my wax warming through on a very low flame on the hob, so you might be able to pan down to that, Mr. M. That's ever so gently melting away there. And then just before it starts boiling away and bubbling, I can actually knock the heat off. There's almost enough room in there to do it now. But I like getting it all even and getting all the lumps out because bits sort of float in it or whatever. But anyway, come back in a minute when that's melted. There's room for making one of these. See in a bit. Right, we've just got this on ever such a low flame. Sorted out. And that I'd say is plenty warm enough. Huh. Now you can't mess about with stuff like this. So I've got it straddling all three trivets on my cooker. That's there, and I'm stood to the side just in case it goes, I can move out of the way. And you could put some wood there out of the way, I suppose, but it's not the sort of stuff you want stuck in your clothing. The important bit is getting the wax into here evenly so you want to get it in and then tip it back out again okay easier said than done because it's not that deep so I sort of go like this like that move it about and that can almost go off now okay so that's off as you can see, I've still got one area I haven't got wax on yet. Am I happy with that yet? Doesn't matter, because I can use things called spoons. Okay? And I can always scrape the wax off of this afterwards. Now it'll cool on the spoon pretty quick. because you know there's a lot of mass in the spoon but as long as all that in there hasn't set yet if you're very careful you can pour that out okay I'm quite happy now to poof along and do this area Nice even coating. Now, if that was hot, that end will almost be able to be touched now. You see all this, Mitch? Yep. So I can empty that end out, put that end down. I've left the label on, I can actually get the wax to creep underneath that plastic label. Okay, looks like I'm, it's all done. Happy with that? Okay, looking good. If I hold that like that, you should be able to see it's all even. It's not great drips running down because I took my time and just cascaded it with that spoon. And letting it drip off, hopefully not all over the side. All I need now is that trivet which I left there. Okay. Now you will get it sticking to the trivet when you put it down. But if that's how the shape's going to set, that's how it'll want to go back. It's actually be set like that. You'll have to break the hingey bit a couple of times and work it back, but that's it. Now, the wax on the spoon, you'll have a very thin amount, so if you flick it off, like that, I 
when that cools there will be a very thin film you just scrape it off make sure there's none left on that and I'll be good to go so thanks for joining me again well done Mitch for filming there's our little yeah, it's cool enough to pick up now it's our egg box I'll do a few stills in a minute when it's cooled down but that goes pretty hard see you on the next video thanks for joining me again cheers ok that's cooling down Work that a little and work that a little.